one of the first things I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to try and get my ground bait mix in there early. We've made a lot of noise breaking the ice today and I want to try and get it as early as possible so it gets a chance for them to come in, find it and settle on it before we maybe go on it maybe five or ten minutes later. So what we're going to do, we don't want much, but if you put ground bait and a few pinkies in with your ground in there, just mould that into like, not quite a tennis ball but that sort of size, a bit smaller, probably going to juice two, possibly three of those, and then we're going to leave it for a bit to settle. Fishing about 10, 11 metres out, that's as far as we could break, so this will be cut right on the edge of the ice where we've broken. done the first one so now we'll get our go and do the second one keep it exactly the same just going to add a few casters a few pinkies and make your little golf ball again make sure it's nice and tight really squeeze it because you want it to get straight down to the bottom there you go The rig we're going to be using today, I'll talk you through from the hook end first. We're starting off on a size 22, uh, it's a little tiny gamma black, it's one of the smallest ones in the 22, we may even need to go smaller. We've then got a series of number 8 shot strung out, and about 2, 2.5 two foot above we've got the bulk of number 8, that's the main shot to get it down. You've got the odd dropper, so as you get to the final bit it does slowly fall down rather than going straight down, you get the odd fish just before your maggot gets to the bottom. Coming all the way up to Preston Series 4 pencil. It's in 0.8 grams. Again, you need something fairly heavy. It's, you've probably got six, seven foot of water, so you need to make sure that you're getting down there quick where the fish are going to be feeding. Then finally, we're on a single four elastic. We don't want to be anything heavier than that. We're probably only going to be catching small fish today. Anything else that, all you're going to do is start bumping your fish. My choice to start with is going to be double pinky. What we're going to do is we'll nip a couple on and we'll see what we can have. wind's picked up slightly now and if it wasn't cold enough it definitely is now. I've had to put my jacket on, it's absolutely freezing. In conditions like this it's quite easy to sit there and think there's never going to be a bite around but there's little things you can do to try and encourage them. Um, for example every 30 to 40 seconds I do likely just lift my rig about a float's length, lower it again just to create that movement and it, what it does I think is it just makes it easier for a fish to just get tempted into just snatching at it it does get you a few extra bites over the course of a day. We've been fishing away now for a little while over the initial feed we put in earlier. Unfortunately it hasn't produced anything yet so we're going to try and mix up a little bit. I've just picked my catapult out of the box and we're going to try and introduce three or four pinkies maybe every one or two minutes just trying to drip feed them in just to get something floating through the swim and it does sometimes bring the odd fish in. One thing that I will say when you are doing this, it does make your fish, if they do turn up, move around so you will need to chase them up and down in the water 
So one thing I always do before I do this is just mark on the side of the pole where my float is. So you always know where you, a basic point is from where you originally started. You can then move up, down, deeper, shallower, and then you can find where they are. So what I do at the top of my bristle, just put a little white mark on there so you know where you can go back to. a really good bite. And a slightly better fish actually. Fall into single pinky this time. Just changing the depths of out. Spraying in that pinky just makes them a little bit more occupied. Lovely roach. See if we can get a few more of them. It's actually a little carp this time. Very nice surprise on a day like this where it's going to be hard, that's enough to make anything worthwhile. Well, that was a great way to end the session there with a little unexpected carp at the end. It has been hard today, but we have had a few fish, so I think what we'll do is we'll call that a day. We'll have a look what we've got. Nice small bag of rope, the odd perch, and that little unexpected carp as well. Very nice. Nice little bag of fish there on days where temperature hasn't got much below freezing. Let's let him get back. Well that's it for us today. It's a nice afternoon's fishing. Hope some of the tips has helped you gain the confidence to come give it a go yourself in conditions just like this. We're going to head off and get warm now. See you again next time.